So how many times have you heard this? Islamic State cuts off heads or they're selling sex slaves in Africa and the apologists for Islam say, oh, that's radical, that's extreme, that's not real Islam. I know some Muslims at work and they're fine people. And besides that, it's just a tiny minority that's doing all those things. So in other words, we don't need to worry about it. Well, what do they mean by extreme? Certainly cutting off heads falls under that category, but you know, there are other things that are extreme like beating your wife, child brides, inbreeding, marrying your first cousin. Those are extreme things too. And what do all these extreme things have in common? They're all in the Sharia because killing Kafirs, jihad is all in the Sharia as well as child brides and inbreeding. So what we need to do here is to be able to measure not just radical killing, but all forms of radical ideas. In other words, we need to measure the Sharia. This has all been done for us. Pew Research has done a poll of some 38 nations, and what they did was they studied Muslims and how they feel about the Sharia. This is an in-depth study. Interestingly enough, 28% of all those Muslims who think that the Sharia should rule say that apostates should be killed. This is extreme. Killing somebody because they have a change of conscience and leave their religion, if that's not extreme, what is not? And 28% is not a small minority. Now there's another very interesting statistic in here, and that is out of the Muslims who want Sharia, 52% of them say that it should only cover Muslims. But 42% think that the Kafir should be ruled by Islam as well. That's a disaster. Here's why. Have you ever wondered what happened to Christianity in the Middle East? Well, I'll tell you what happened to it. Jihad put the Sharia in place, and once the Christians became Dhimmi's, D-H-I-M-M-I, -M -M -I, they were ruled by the Sharia, and that annihilates Christian civilization. It annihilates all civilizations. That's what happened in Afghanistan, and that's what happened in Pakistan. You see, they used to be Buddhist and Hindu, but the Sharia destroyed them. Sharia destroys and annihilates all Kafir civilizations. Now, it can take a while. For instance, the destruction of Christianity in Turkey took several centuries. But as soon as the Sharia is in place and rules the Kafir, the Kafir civilization will die. This is more important than killing an individual. We're talking about entire civilizations. Now, if you're a good apologist for Islam, you'll go, well, maybe, but we just need a reform. Christians have had a reform. Let's examine the idea of reforming Islam. Let's start with a simple fact. The Quran is complete, perfect, universal. How do you reform that? And by the way, you do know there are two different Qurans. There's an early Quran written in Mecca, and it's generally tolerant of others, and 64% of that Quran is in Mecca. But then there's a smaller portion written in Medina that's 36%. And the Medinan Quran calls for the rule of Sharia. Now, how are you going to reform this? Because you see, the Medinan Quran follows the earlier Meccan Quran, and the Quran itself says that it's stronger. So the minor part of the Quran is stronger than the major part. You can't get rid of it. It can't go away. Actually, those Muslims, the 48% who want the rule of the Sharia, are the better Muslims. So we're stuck with no reform. It can't change. And we also have to remember this, 48% is not a tiny minority. It is a dominating minority. So think about that the next time somebody tells you, oh, that killing, that's not real, that's extreme, and it's just a tiny minority. Thank you.